Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs, okay? All right, we're going to start out with some oracles, then I'm going to clarify it with the tarot. What's the message for my collective today regarding love? And I think I might pull a few career cards. Okay, that's one. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Another one. Okay, another one. Oh, okay. I guess it's four today. It's usually three, but I'm gonna four wanted to come out. All right. The first one out we have is you're my favorite song, okay? <laughs> or you're my favorite. Why did I say favorite song? I don't know. It says, you're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share, you're my person. Oh my gosh. Okay. So somebody recognizes you, collective. Somebody knows that you're meant for them. And they think that they're meant for you. You're their favorite everything. Okay. And they really want to come forward and express something and i don't think this is a person that does this with everybody okay they don't really open up but they they found a person that they could do that with that's why they hold you in high regard they think that you're really special okay all right let's see we have unclear i don't know how i feel about this connection anymore hmm I'm getting more or less that they don't know how you feel about them. They know that their feelings for you are really strong and they have love in their eyes for you, but they don't know if it's going to be reciprocated. And I think that might be a delay. That's probably what's holding them back from coming forward and expressing how they truly feel. Okay. All right. This one says, let me go. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now I am not in the space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm not sure, Collective, if they backed off. I'm feeling a self-sabotaging kind of energy here where I don't know if this person is used to being in relationships, but I think that they're trying to self-sabotage this because it's something that they really want, but they're afraid that I don't know, either you, you don't have the same feelings. Let's read this next one. Others opinion. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. Okay, now it makes sense. I'm like, what is this? Okay. They think that you're too different. Like they love everything about you, but they're worried about their family. They're worried about their peers. They're worried about how this relationship will look to others. Okay, so I'm not sure if this person is worthy of you, Collective, because if they're putting others' opinions before their heart, before how they truly feel, they're not ready for a real relationship. So...
They'd rather let it go. They'd rather let it go than be true to themselves. They'd rather wear a mask for other people. But this is part of their journey. This is part of lessons that they're going to have to learn and overcome. And you're triggering that lesson in this person. Like how much happier are they going to be living like that uh, compared to how happy they would be if they were with you? Whoa. Okay. So that's something. Let's see what else we get. <laughs> I don't know if this is regarding like religion or what this is regarding. Like, um, Somebody can come from like a really wealthy family and someone doesn't, you know, and there was a documentary once I saw, I'm, 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 I'm not sure which kid of this extremely wealthy family made this documentary, but it was about like Johnson and Johnson and um, other like household, you know, billionaires. Okay. But it was about the billionaires kids and he went around interviewing them and they're deathly afraid of not doing what they're told as far as their family is concerned because they're afraid of being cut off. Okay. So I'm feeling like, oh, here's a little message coming in. Okay. Um, so it could be something like that. They really value their family's opinion for whatever, because I don't know if they're like, their, fam their family is helping them out in one way, shape or form, or they really rely on their family. Um, but they, they should, they hold a lot of value in their family's opinion of them. Let me read it one more time, all right? I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. Yeah. It's something like that, okay? But, like, the most intense love stories are, like, opposite attracts love stories, okay? Those are pure. And the reason for that is because you both have something genuine and new to bring to the table, Okay, it's this collaboration. It's the joining of forces. It's this energy that when um, two opposite energies or however you want to say come together, they create masterpieces. They create something really, really beautiful. And um, look at this at the bottom as I was shuffling two of cups. They recognize you as their person and they love you, but they also love their family and Maybe they don't want to subject you to their family's judgment, okay? I'm feeling this is like a very judgy type situation, okay? All right. <laughs> what else for this situation? We have you're my favorite. We have unclear. We have let me go and others' opinions. So if there was a connection forming, They'd rather get out now than go than to fall even deep more deep in love with you collective or this is you collective um, because it would be 
a struggle. It would be like a pull between you and their family because they don't want to change who you are because they love you. They love you just the way that you are. They love whatever it is about you that has like sparked their interest. But then they have their family that they've been dedicated to all their life, you know, so ugh, this is a tough one. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're in a, you know, it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma. This is, they call the eight of swords, the prison of their own making or whatever, but this is something that they wrestle with because they want to make both sides happy. So now they're just like unclear. This is where the unclear is. They don't know what to do. And it's almost like they might be causing conflict between you two. So you could just like, you could be the one that separates because it would be really hard for them to separate from you. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Some more. Well, here's the Ten of Cups. This is the family card. Okay. So they may come from a really wealthy family or a different background. I'm feeling different backgrounds here. Okay. But also this is the energy of this is what they want with you. If they could... Um, live out their dream life or live out their fantasy it would be you and them under one roof living happily ever after but unfortunately they live in reality where there's just too much conflict all right oh some more okay this is the nine of swords somebody's having sleepless nights Somebody's really worried about it. Somebody's being, if they separate from you, they're going to think that they lost the love of their life. If they decide to choose you over their family, they risk that separation of family. I don't know. But somebody's really terrified to make a move. Look at, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Nine of Swords back to back. Oh, okay. We have the Four of Cups here. So that's feeling rejected. That's feeling left out. Something about if they went through with this connection with you they'd feel they'd feel cut off or left out of their family or this could be a situation where their family does arranged marriages okay i'm getting that vibe too and they already have somebody picked out for you Or you could already be in a really in an arranged marriage, um, and in those arranged marriages, they hope that you grow to love each other. And some people do, but then some people don't, and then they end up crossing paths with people that they are meant to be with, where their heart is just drawn. And I feel like it's one of those situations. Okay, all right. So we have. This person has taken their sweet time making a decision to come forward or not. And they're still stuck in their what to do, but they're getting closer every day on their decision. Okay, another one for this reading. <laughs> Clarify others' opinions for my collective, please. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups now. So now we have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So they're in a prison of their own making. Should they stay? Should they go? Should they? Sh do they move forward to their wish fulfillment, which would be the Nine of Cups, which would be you? which would lead them to the Ten of Cups. 
Um, that would be the right thing to do. Why is their family have, why would their family have such a problem with you, collective? Why would their family have such a problem with you? I told you, I fucking told you guys, religion, religion, okay? <laughs> it's like a religious difference, okay? Um, let's just say like in my faith in Christianity, um, I don't practice Christianity the way some other people practice Christianity, okay? Do I believe in Christ the Savior? Yes, I do. But I also am a spiritualist as well. And I'm fusing the both together because that's what I've been guided to do. They might come from a devout Christian family. And although they're reading all these pages in the Bible, okay, <laughs> of, you know, not to be judgy and all this kind of stuff and love thy neighbor and all this stuff, it doesn't mean people practice what they preach and sometimes um, uh, people use their religion as a form of elitism okay where they think that just because they believe in one way that they think that well that happens all over the world we're seeing it today they you know that their value of, of uh, who they are is, is more than another person because of the way that they believe. But it has something to do with something regarding religion, okay? <laughs> All right, so they might have to cut it off, okay? Because you might be a free thinker, a free speaker, and... Um, Ooh, I also said your person might already be in a connection with some sort of arranged marriage or, or something like that. And divorce is frowned upon in their religion or their culture. And that's probably what would have to take place. They would have to like get a divorce. These doves, that represents marriage. And then here's the queen of swords. You know, if her counterpart isn't here, it usually means cutting something off or a divorce. But the light bulb moment has been turned on to where that's what would have to take place. And um, it would probably make both families upset. I don't know. But there's a lot of swords here. So somebody's really deep in thought. They're really having a, a, a wrestling with this issue. And it's giving them sleepless nights. And they're kind of... Um, bound by this this judgment call they have to make okay so something's getting blocked or somebody's hiding something or somebody's not speaking or or like i said they're not taking this relationship any further they don't want to fall more deep in love with you. They'd rather cut it off now than, um, let me tell you something. Are we dealing with adults here? Because, I mean, if this is a grown adult behaving this way, I'm just like, what is this? You know, grow a pair, you know, like, or whatever. Like, you know, it, eventually the time comes where you have to, um, you know, daddy and mommy don't, shouldn't be ruling your life and putting your laundry away. Okay, so like, <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, the Tower and the Ace of Cups. Are you kidding me? All right, they fell in love. They fell in love. And I think with these cards collective... They're choosing you, and it's going to come as a shocker to their family, to their community, <laughs> but here it is. The heart wants what the heart wants. The heart wants the Ten of Cups. 
this is how they see you and I told you this is a lesson that they've been guided to work themselves in and out of okay and they're going to be taking a leap of faith the tower has hit them okay so I are it's coming and the, the judgment it, this is a decision that needs to be made this person fell in love and they fell in love hardcore um, and love overrules everything okay <laughs> And they're going to be taking a leap of faith and they're going to be coming forward to express their love regardless because ultimately they're learning this is their life and they're going to live it the way that they want to. And that's with you, Collective. Okay? This is really beautiful energy. I haven't had a read like this, but this is really cool. All right, I'm going to end it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, until next time, baby dolls. Ciao.